Okay, so I'm going to attempt to explain something that I really can't explain all too in depth, but I'm going to try. All right. There's something called the MBTI. It stands for the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. All it really is, it's nothing too fancy. Um, some people liken it to a horoscope. I don't think that it's that. I think that it's something very basic and it's something that shouldn't be taken too seriously, but it's something that can totally help you out for life. And all it does is it measures you on four different scales. All right. And the scales are introversion versus extroversion. And this is whether you are refueled by external stimuli or internal stimuli. So basically, if you're at a party, are you hyped because you're there and then you're hyped all night afterwards? Or being at the party makes you exhausted. And maybe you handle yourself well, maybe you don't. But at the end of the day, you're exhausted and you need to be, have some alone time. And some of the people are the opposite. During COVID, they were alone and they got exhausted of that and they needed people, right? And we're all a combination of all of these, but which one do you lean toward? Are you an introvert or an extrovert? The next one is N versus S. Now, the best way that I can describe this one is, are you an intuitive person or are you a sensing person? And basically, do you need to experience stuff? This is the experience side. Do you, do you need to experience stuff or do you go by a lot of shortcuts and saying, well, if this is like that, then this is like that. And you judge everything by patterns. So these people tend to not need to go to France because they've seen it on Google. And this was like that. Uh, these people tend to not to like maybe try the drug because they're like, oh, no, I see the stats. While these people, they're more likely to say, listen, hey, not everyone is like that. This is a new human being. I'm not going to judge you based off of a pattern. Right. So they each have their pros and their cons, but they're both um, slightly different sorts of people. And again, you might have both of these. Some people are in the middle. Some people are wildly on either side. But that's what this is. The next one is thinking versus feeling. All right? And um, we all think and we all feel. But which one is the catalyst for your decision making? Um, do you make a decision based off of your thinking process or do you make it based off of your feelings? And again, everyone is both, but which one are you more likely? The last one is J or P. What J is, is a very organized person. The people that like to plan things out, all right? Versus P, a very spontaneous person. The person that, that just goes with the flow. And I'm sure that you know all types of people. Now, where the MBTI comes in, because we know that these things are real. The MBTI says, depending on your combination of things, you're a certain type of person. And there's basically 16 combinations. And they are, as you read through them, they are types of people that we all know in life. And um, movie studios actually use these types to label a character so that the actor knows how to act, so that they don't act like themselves. Because if you have a person who's always spontaneous and they're an introvert and they're like this special combination and they start to act differently than how you would expect them to act, that's when it's just a badly drawn character. Now, you can always go against your type. You might be in between two or three types or whatever. But what we do is we use these types to have four different teams per area. We have teams in Aurora, teams in Broomfield, teams in Centennial, and teams in Denver. And they are based off of these 16 types broken down into four sections. So each one of these will be slightly different, but kind of related to the one in their opposing area. So we don't expect you to type yourself perfectly. We don't expect you to be in this specific category. But what we're going to do is place you on a team with people that we think that you belong with so that you can, one, get along with them, I suppose. That's not really the point. It's so that your coach can teach in a certain style that doesn't go against the style that you wish to learn. And if it's not working out on a particular team, you can just jump to another team the following year because whatever the given styles are, we want you to have options as opposed to everyone coaching the same style. 
because of their top players or whatever it may be. So each of these teams is going to be broken down into one of the 16 MBTI personalities. We've even matched those personality types up into the team mascot. So the Eagles are probably like the leader types. The Bulls are probably like the action oriented types. All right. Whereas the Bucks might be the shy types. All right. So um, this is our attempt to make learning as efficient as possible within the basketball realm. And again, you can switch whenever you feel the need to. All right. We can um, eventually our goal would be to put you on the right spot with the right people. And we feel as though this is just a chance for us to get there. It may not be perfect. It won't be perfect. I can guarantee you that. But this is us trying to do something that no one even tries to do. If you want to find out your personality type, go to 16personalities.com. You can take a 10 minute test. And for kids, they, they tend to go around and grow up and change a lot. But you can get something out of it. You can read through your pros and your cons to see if it really matches you or not. And you can um, just learn your tendencies and then take your cons and try to solve them on your own as early as possible so that you can improve your own life. But what we're going to do for this is try to have the best team possible so that we can make you as good as you can possibly get. Oh, and I'm, by the way, I'm an INTJ, so I'm a big planner. <laughs>